You a vlogger, facing over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh why me, oh why me 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 Such a powerful woman. Hi, my ninjas. How are you doing? It's a girl. Oh, I'm Ninja Bajalu, aka Biz Pia Focal. Bring back for our entertainment. It's the first time joining me. I'm most definitely welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly. Oh, I me. Now, my ninjas, we do have to say a, a moment for the hair, honey. Okay. This is classic beauty. And I also have my nails done by them i'm currently working with them i'm so satisfied with the service that i'm getting they're there by midrand um yeah for more details you can just go ahead and go to the description box i'll make sure that i just link them and you can just go to my instagram i'll be, i i always tag them so you know obviously because i've seen some of you guys are asking what happens did they use this i don't know i just sat there and i stood up and i was looking like this ladies <laughs> you know and anyway guys we're having our master class on the 30th which is this saturday the price is only 390 um yeah if you've not made your 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 payment please do because time is definitely running out you can choose to either attend physically or you can actually join us online okay so basically that is that today i'm going to talk about this thing man that has been on my mind that is actually just like wait a minute okay this is just absolutely wild and just absolutely crazy and i think that um as women especially in this day and age we need to be very very careful if there's one thing that i can go ahead and give it to south african women mostly well it's not only us but i do have to say that obviously with what i've seen like we as women are killing it if you is a woman out there and you is not killing it i don't know about you but we are out here killing it and when i'm saying that we're out here killing it is that i know that there's such a huge lot of us that are actually out there and we're doing our own thing and we're making our own money and we're independent and i absolutely love it for us i don't even want to lie so of course scammers are going to try and uh basically target us not that i'm saying that this white man is a scammer but what i'm simply saying is that uh yeah you're gonna get into this and you guys will actually understand what i'm saying so i think we should learn from other people's mistakes because this i personally feel like baby girl that was a mistake. Babim Lois estates include a house in four ways, Midrand, Elton Hill, Edinburgh, and two houses in uh, Waverley. Waverley, I don't even know how to pronounce that. A Jeep Cherokee Suzuki furniture, her shares, pension funds, investments, and savings, honey, okay? Babim Lois' husband, Ruan, woo! Ruan Excel ruin you. <laughs> Once half of all of it, including 8,500 in spousal support. So, guys, we can close it. I'm done. Like, I would leave this earth. Like, what do you mean? Like, did you help me actually build everything that is here? Did you? So let me go ahead and actually read for you guys um, what um, actually Papi Muloy actually had written. She had posted this picture and she actually said, so many people got married last week. Even me. Pema Bay, which means I'm sure permanent Bay. Um, hashtag always and forever. Hashtag Miss A. Okay. With some emojis and stuff. And let me tell you guys something. This post that you guys will be seeing somewhere here is the reason why a girl is going to lose half of everything that she has worked very hard for for so many years, allegedly. Okay. Because at first, I think that she was trying to say that they are not married, but that one singular post actually says that yes, we are. So had it been that Opa bj was just someone that does not post anything there wouldn't be any proof anywhere but now because obviously there's a post that is here this is proof that she actually acknowledges that yes it was a marriage they were married 
obviously that is the reason why and those are the allegations they are saying that obviously after everything that he, this man is going to get is going is also demanding to get a spousal support of 8500 trains now from what i understand when it comes to spousal support unless they've maybe the new laws that have actually kicked in what it means is that someone is going to support you up until the day you decide to remarry and from what i know the 8.5 if her her money increases his money is also going to increase i don't know how true that is but that, those are some of the stuff that i've actually had as her money goes up he also has to go up now my biggest question is that i've seen this guy's face guys his face is not facing like that he doesn't seem like and i know someone will say but you've said this before he seems slow to me a bit you know he seems like someone that would move slow that would speak slow someone that would think a bit slow like that's my personal opinion of course from what i've just seen with the picture right you mean to tell me that of all the white men out there in this universe, you chose to go and marry a broke one? Clearly, he gotta be broke if he's the one that wants spousal support from you. And remember, guys, broke is relative. He may not be broke to me, but it means he was broke to her. I think I need to make this very um, important. A person that earns 5,000 rands may be broke to someone that earns 100,000 rands. But a person that earns 5,000 rands is not broke to someone that is waiting for 350 Arama pause. So that's the thing that I think that as a society we don't really understand. I see some people saying, ah, that's a broke member. I'm like, he's not broke for you. You're <laughs> Not to you, my darling. Yes, to other people, but you, that man is fine. Do you understand what I'm saying? So basically for me, I don't understand why you would actually go and choose a that is broke. I saw someone actually saying that like a broke white man is a red flag. When other ancestors were stealing, what were your ancestors doing? <laughs> It means that maybe you are gonna follow suit of that whole behavior of being slow. So no, 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 red, red flag. You understand? But this is really honestly painful, guys. And this is something that is actually happening on a daily basis. There is a woman, um, Queen Nontando, that I actually did in, uh, invite to my other channel, which is Bodlo Wami. Um, and I had an interview with her, and she alleges that her husband, basically her soon-to-be ex-husband, he married her for her assets. You know, she was working. Um, obviously, she had, uh, you know, assets and stuff, and this man wants half of everything. So there was also another thread that was there on Twitter. The, this man, literally men, were advising each other on how they need to get anybody that is working for the government because they know that they, they have pension fund. And they said that you don't even have to pay a lot of money. Just go to the bank, loan 10000 if you don't have money, and then go and lobola this person. And then after that, maybe wait two months and divorce this person. Go and say you want half of the pension fund and you're going to get a lot of money. They were literally actually advising each other. So yes, guys, this is 2024. We have got slay queens of men, okay? Like, I did not slay kings. Slay queens, they're still, they're women. They're queens. They want to be pampered. They want to be held like this. So this is something that is happening, guys, almost on a daily basis. If there's one thing that I can go ahead and say is that please protect every single thing that you have worked very hard for. Prenups, guys, Guys are very important before someone pays lobola. If someone goes and pays your lobola, in case you did not know, Jewish marriage, Shibubu, and Jewish marriage in community of Propontai, okay? So if this man says, hey, I want to come to your home, I want to pay lobola, you're like, okay, that's fine, uh, but we need to have a discussion. What is the discussion? I will come see you on Friday. You go on Friday, guys. Here is a prenup booty. You actually sign with anything that I acquired before you is mine. Anything you acquired before you is yours. Anything that we acquire together, whoever cheats loses 40% first. Then the remaining the remaining 60% we are gonna split in half. And I'm not playing. I'm not marrying anyone as long as they don't agree to their terms and conditions. Because as girly guys, like I feel like also it's just that thing of there are men that will marry you knowing that you have got 
assets, you've got money, you've got this and this, and they start cheating because they know that most of us are not going to stand for cheating, especially when you're independent. But if you're hungry, most hungry women, they stand for cheating galoku because where are they going to go? Bazoja in. But when you're not starving and you're not hungry, you're going to be like, ah, ah, I know my worth. Let me rather go. I'll only have a heartbreak, but I'll continue my life and I'll still be able to eat. So how do you then actually say that, you know what, as a man or as a woman, which we all know that it's majority men, as a man, before you go out there and cheat, you should just remember that, first of all, I'm going to lose 40% of everything and then... I'm going to lose another 30%. So I'm going to lose a whole 70% of everything that I have, and I'm only going to be left with 30%. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think that that is very fair. If you're someone that is about to get married, take some of this brilliantness from Miss Fair for Coach Bobonke because a prenup is whatever terms and conditions that you guys actually sit down and do. But if you now say that if you cheat, your first losing 40%, and the person's like, oh, no, he's planning to cheat on you, leave. <laughs> Run, my sister, run. They're planning on cheating on you. Honestly, for me, I do personally feel that Upa man, yo, 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 yo. She really honestly just got herself in this mess. It would also be very painful to uh, for me. Like, literally, guys, like, yo, imagine parting ways with so much. And unfortunately, if obviously... What is being alleged is the truth. She would need to come up with a lot of money to actually buy this man out. Or else she'll be forced to have to go in and actually sell her properties. Which is something that is obviously also still very much said. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say. There are people that are like, no, marry a white man, you know. They're safer, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, they ain't. No, they are not. <laughs> with this whole situation, I don't think so. So, yeah, just be very careful out there. It doesn't matter if it's black, white, yellow, pink, green, or orange. They are still men, Galook, okay? And they will show you paper if they want to. So, yeah, just remain safe out there. From Mami Nechi Bajara, I love you guys so much. Stay blessed. And, of course, you guys know I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye, ninjas.